the attractive thing about street lighting is that it's very pervasive. It's pretty much present everywhere throughout the city. It's rolled out in a very regular and structured fashion and it has a very high density. We have a street light pretty much every 20 to 30 meters. Now by making street lighting intelligent and connected, cities also have the opportunity to use that as a backbone for a smart city, where you can use the lighting infrastructure to hook up devices and sensors to acquire information about what's really going on in their cities. And use those insights together with information that's gathered elsewhere to make their infrastructures much more responsive and tailored to the needs of specific conditions. On the one hand, lighting can be an enabling infrastructure. By hosting third-party sensors, we can gain much more insights into city dynamics and get a much better understanding of how a city is actually performing. Um, we can host cellular technology, for example, to provide better coverage for network operators. And on the other hand, by making lighting much more responsive and intelligent, we can influence people's behavior, make sure that people can feel comfortable at night, create much more inspiring and creative uh, spaces, but also, for example, assist people in evacuations when emergencies occur. Smart cities are all about people. How can we support people in having healthier lives, feel safe and feel comfortable? And technology can play a supporting role there. By providing more information, we can support informed decision making. We can use evidence for policy making and we can use information to make our infrastructures more responsive to drive better outcomes for citizens and city workers.